Yeah. But I was dealing with like my manager and one of my good friends. He worth three hundred million. So like, he was put me on shit that we've taken jets and shit. I'm in the fucking the Alps and shit. We meeting the owner of the like that's cool with Ryder Federer. He owns the like the cell phone company called Sunrise out there. We have uh, concerts and shit with them, and they sweet. I'm in Switzerland living better than my, I was living here. And it was the, crazy. You're the only. Black person nigga. there, right? and, and I'm the only and I'm the only real nigga. Let's keep it pure. <laughs> they have like some cool regular niggas and yeah. like some motherfucking Dominican little nigga. I'm a real you nigga, fly. Yeah, I'm swagged out. So yeah. these bitches treat me like goddamn Black Panther. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm big goddamn. Yeah, I'm Black Panther out there. They're like, what the? They never seen a black. Yeah, because like, it's a real African. Like to them, they look at it like, oh, are you a basketball player? Oh, yeah. are you a rapper? Like, yeah, like because so over they there they don't have that. You're probably the tallest nigga out there, huh? They could, yes. Yeah. And they couldn't believe it. And I'm an American black person. Yeah. So there's none out there so mm-hmm. they're like what and I'm tall and they, it's like I'm really a superhero which I am anywhere but imagine there <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying I ain't trying to brag I'm just saying it's statistically girls in Switzerland are they bad they're are bad they, they're they... They some of the baddest and on top of that too they're coming and what people don't know about Switzerland let me put you on game hmm. it's a big Dominican culture out there really oh, so shit. yes so and like like an African Dominican culture you okay because oh, what happened was because another thing about Switzerland I love Switzerland but hmm. They're big into prostitution, cause oh, all these businessmen, oh, really? are, these big businessmen are nerds. They want to fuck. They want to fuck and get cocaine. So the Dominicans brought the cocaine and brought the bitches. Oh, oh shit! So Is they, it legal there? No, but they don't give a fuck. Oh, they ain't right. no crime. They ain't they, killing nobody. Yeah, yeah. So, you see yeah. what I'm saying? And there's no police anyway. So yeah, it's and like, they're not hurting nobody. They're just having a good time. So it ain't no crime. They just mm. do it. So like, dog, everywhere you go is bad bitches. But they come from every Russia, Germany, Dubai. That like every, every weekend. Yeah. What? It's like a movie in there. Damn. So I'm like, what the? I'm walking into this. I didn't know it was like this. I'm going to be calm and get money and settle down and calm down and be a <laughs> humble person. Yeah. But I'm going out and these bitches just buffeted on me. They just look at buffet. my fucking bicep and <laughs> look at my neck and all that, grabbing the meat and never seen nothing this girthy. Like, it was crazy. I'm like, hey, I'm like with it. it. The first night there, I left with two bitches. Like, I got a crazy story, though. Like, yeah. the first night I went there, mm. we go to this bar. Swear to God, it's 100% real. We go to this bar. I'm chilling at the bar. Mm. Bitches everywhere. I'm like, this shit is, what the, where am I? What's the like, ratio? It's, it's like eight to eight to one. What? Women. At a, at a bad, bar? Bad ones, though. Dressed <laughs> bad. What? And, but you come to realize most of them are prostitutes, though. But oh, I thought they were okay. just regular bitches. So I'm like. Okay. Like Dubai. Yeah, same yeah, shit. Yeah, Dubai. But Switzerland is over okay. Dubai, like on the low. Yeah. Like with that. So I didn't know this. Okay. So I'm thinking all these bad bitches. I'm like, oh, and they all own me. I'm like, they just want me because of me. <laughs> <laughs> give, it up, give it to my name. Yeah, so every time I talk to them, I'm like, hey, what's up, baby? Where you want to leave? They're like, how much? What? What you mean, how much? Well, hold on, hold on. I thought you was like me. You want some money? God damn it. I thought, <laughs> you know that happened to me in Dubai the first night, too? I was like, we're, we're, cause we stayed at the Royal Palm. I'm telling all y'all niggas, man. Paul Jamiro. Yo, yo, don't, yo, don't stay there, bro. Every God girl there's a damn. fucking hooker. I was like, I'm like, hey, what's up? And some of them I speak Arabic to. Like, yeah. oh, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, cool. And it's like, oh, no, how much? I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. No, I don't yo. fucking pay for box. They kept but, saying it like, yeah. quick, too, though. Like, they, they, you be like, God damn, you just disrespected me, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So bad, finally, though, though I found a couple yeah. that was cool. Like, so one girl just kept staring at me across his way. And I'm looking at her like, why the fuck she keeps staring? Then she's with her friend. They point and talk, and I'm like, what the fuck? Were why they locals? My, no, they, they actually was from, like, uh, it was from Russia. Okay. So, but they be there all the time. Okay. So I'm like, why the fuck are they staring at me? They leave, and then they come back again. Yeah. Now I'm with two other chicks chilling and shit, and then they... they they called me over there. I'm like, what the fuck they want? I go over there. She's like, hi, how you doing? I just think you're attractive. Me and my cousin. I'm like, oh, that's cool, blah, blah, blah. And then she sit down. And I sit down next to him. And they're just talking to me, talking to me. And it's really on my YouTube channel, too. Like, I broke it down. But it's like, because you see me go home with him. Because I went home with him. I okay. beat the point. But this is the crazy part. So as I'm talking to him, I'm like, yeah, add me on Instagram. You know, I want to show him I'm that nigga. You know yeah, what I mean? I want to yeah, show him, yeah. bitch, I got God. that. That's a move now, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to show you my Instagram. Works, bitch, man. Man. I'm somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're going to know Especially this. with regular bitches, it does help. Yeah. So when she added me on Instagram, she looks, she was like, oh, it is him. I said, what the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> then I check my messages. She done messaged me before. Oh, real? Oh. So I'm looking like, what the fuck? Come to find out. This is crazy. That's, how, that's what I'm saying. You never know who you know or where you at in this world. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So somebody had a fake page of me DMing her to make her pay some money for some promotion or some shit, right? Oh, wow. And then she told me, because she contacted me, like, this guy has a fake page of you. Oh. And I was like, oh, you can't fall for that. that ain't me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, mm. that dude's a scam. You got to watch the check mark 
and don't fall for no dumb shit. I don't yeah, want no promotion yeah. from you. What the fuck are you? Why would I do that? I'm yeah. type cussing her out. Yeah. She's like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, are you dumb? Like, well, fuck am I going to promote you for what? Who the fuck are you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But she was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then she like, thank me, though. She was cool. She like, thank you, blah, 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 blah. Mm. I'm like, where you at? She was like, I'm overseas. I'm like, okay, cool. Mind you, I'm in, I'm in L.A. at this time. Yeah. Just oh. so happened, I run into the same bitch okay. in the club in fucking yeah. Zurich. So you just didn't crazy. remember. You had talked to her on Instagram, you dummy. Okay, yeah. And we just happened to be in the same place. I was told she was in fucking Russia. Now she's in Zurich. I'm in Zurich. And that's her. And her friend oh. was like, and her cousin was like, oh, that is him. Oh, my God. They started hugging me like, you were so nice. I wasn't nice. I don't know what they're talking about. But <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't nice to you. But Yo, they was love me. They, they had a good time. I went to the I went to the hotel with them. Fuck both of them. Nice. Yeah. That is a crazy story, though. That is. That, that, that's that's cool. I'm gonna get, that was random as fuck. Yo, that's crazy. Wow. crazy bro. Small world, huh? God is yeah. great. Uh, like, I won't say this though. Yo, there's a lot of people posing as like uh, influencers and shit like that, trying to do shit. Bro, too. there's a motherfucker right now emailing other influencers saying, "Yo, you want to come on the Fresh Fit Podcast? We're gonna yeah. pay you some money, blah blah." Guys, it's a fucking what's scam. wrong with these people, man? Bro, that's crazy with annoying, that. man. Because imagine if think about it, if I if that person didn't get the money from him, this bitch from Russia, he might got some KGB motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'd have been splattered out there yeah. like what happened to Organi? He got killed by the goddamn people that. Kill nigga for training day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I could have been that. Then I ain't do shit. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Yo, but Sergey and the gang, yo, what Bam. the fuck, yeah. man? But, but it was a beautiful time there. But all in all, you know what I'm saying? I came back a different person. Yeah. Like once I relieved the cars and downgraded my cars, yeah. um, I did all that. So, so so how much better was it than being in LA? Because that's a that's a 180 foot. I was man. there for yeah. three months too. I was gonna get my full it was a lot I went through. I ain't gonna go too much about it, but I was right. gonna live out there. What, I was what, live what made there. you change your mind? It was like my I didn't get my visa done in time. You yeah. only get ninety oh. days within. You only yeah. get ninety days within six uh, within one hundred eighty days overseas. Yeah, in yeah, those yeah. Uh, was it Schengen regions. Yeah, you get ninety days within one hundred eighty days. And what people don't know, as soon as you touch the country, your ninety days start. Yeah. Oh. So I go there for one day, come back. I still only got ninety days within six months, and you can't come back. So. As I had a lawyer working it out and all that, I, I had like a company. I bought all type of shit to expedite. Was that it. only in 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 Switzerland? Or are they that strict? The the whole Schengen region, but Switzerland is super strict. Yeah, because so Schengen region is like the top level wealthy countries out there. They okay. don't play in Europe. Yeah. Okay, because mm-hmm. I was gonna say like people, because in America we're stupid, right? We're like if because Canadians do this shit all the time, they'll leave. And they come back and they'll like, and they'll, or they'll go to another country and then they'll reset the they, car. They don't do that. They don't, so, they, Switzerland they don't, don't let you no, do no, that no. shit. They tell you, you came, you got 90 days in 100, you got 90 yeah. days with the 180, and that's your clock. So okay. it ain't you don't no, adjust in that it time. ain't no coming back because I came back. Yeah. I left and came back. Like, clock was still times. going. Yeah, it, it, they said, fuck you. They like, keep going. Actually, yeah. uh, I think Canadians, they go to Detroit and they drive over, right? And they come back. Yeah. Th- that's how they, because in America, it's like, you know, you get your 90 days, but if you leave, yeah. you could basically reset the clock, right? Wow. We have a broken immigration system a little bit with that shit. That's why people abuse their visas. But over there, it seems like they don't play that. Hey, you didn't adjust in that time period? Nope, too bad. Yeah, but, they don't play. But you would have stayed there, though. I was trying to stay. I was tr- Listen, I bought a company and did a whole shit. I got my account out there. That was a that was a blessing move. I can do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, but it ran out. So and, and this is how they don't play. And I'm gonna tell you how much they don't play in Switzerland. <laughs> so like, I'm on it. So my lawyer told me like, hey, your days is running out. You got like two more days. Damn. And they sent back like my um, visa request because they messed up. It was a certain amount of money I made, mm-hmm. and they put a uh, like a comma backwards. So I'm, it was it was three point five million, yeah. but they thought it was three hundred fifty million. I mean three hundred fifty thousand. They said that ain't enough. Oh, because I wanted to make a company out there. Yeah, like you yeah. need more than that. I'm yeah, like, no, yeah. you I need told more you. revenue to justify yeah, coming out here. Yeah, but it was three point five million. But they thought it was three hundred fifty thousand because oh. they read it wrong. That was their fault. So they had to send it back and maybe revise it. And we sent it back again, and then Clock it was gone. like it was too late. So now it's taking days. I'm like, I got two days. So I'm like, fuck it. So we called the place like the um was it the the whatever the embassy embassy. Yeah. Yep. And I'm like, hey. I got two days, but they messed up on my visa. Can we get this fixed? You know what I'm saying? I got two more days. They're like, uh, what happened? Okay. Yeah, when you get your plane ticket out of there. I'm like, hey, mind you, I got apartments. You know what I'm saying? My homie got a couple cars and shit. We living out this motherfucker. Yeah. We living. I've been there three months. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got a routine. We got apartments, cars, all that shit out there. And um, they're like, uh, yeah, um, like you, you bought them, like you bought the apartment. No, uh, rented it. Okay, yeah, rented it. And okay. um, expensive as fuck too. That bitch was like fucking five hundred square feet. That bitch was forty two hundred dollars. Yes. Oh God, that bitch was like a prison. Yeah, they're doing everything to keep broke niggas out, man. Yeah, because really? the fact that you had to have that much revenue from your business right. for them to even give you a visa they that tells playing. you right there. Yeah. Yeah. And you said it's one of the strictest places. They're right? not playing. Yeah, but it was worth it because you get it with so much access. I had to. 
I had I had so much shit. I was doing. I had the shoes coming in. I was about to get shoes. I was doing a lot of shit. I had a shoe store. Yeah. Watches. I had about to do a partnership with Gubelin with the jewelry and shit. Like these are real stones, by the way, fresh. There ain't no like fake sapphires. I got the booklet to that, brother. So, uh, f- fun fact too, as well. Uh, Van Cleef. Yes, sir. I was always like, man, I don't know Van Cleef. I uh-huh. think it's more like a woman's thing. But kind of find out. Actually, it holds value. Yes. And I bought my own. As you got well some pussy with that you. too, huh? I definitely did. You're how welcome, m- brother. How, how much does that? How much does that run for? So they're um, like four thousand, five thousand. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So Damn. this is a thirty thousand yeah. dollar risk. Oh shit! And you wouldn't know it, but it's I'm more comfortable. See, what I'm saying ain't no yeah. big dumbass yeah. near yeah, yeah, Cuban. Yeah, 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 yeah. No one, them niggas don't even know yeah. what this is. Yeah. But, but a bitch do. But <laughs> so that's why I learned too, though. No, no, you're right. You're right. So if you notice, right? After this game. hours, <laughs> no, notice right after hours goes right back. Cleveland. I'm like, who bought yeah, you yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's what because that shit's not cheap. Yeah, that's game. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'm putting so insider so thing. I got put on game. I got put on game with that. Yeah. So I ain't, I don't stuff with niggas. I do it for the for the bitches. So when bitches see that, they they get you know what I'm saying moisturized. You know what I mean? So. That's how Fair you do enough. it. But anyway, yeah, so the, the visa ran out. I called them, embassy, can I get an extension? They, they said, nope. They said, when can you get <laughs> nope. your flight for tomorrow? I'm like, whoa, brother, I got a house. I got a crib. They're like, okay, I'll give you to Friday then. I'm like, God damn, that's, that's two days. So you're yeah. in L.A. at this point? No, I'm in Switzerland. Oh, so you're actually oh, I'm you're in there. Switzerland. Yeah, yeah. In my apartment, yeah. chilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clothes and shit. I got piles of clothes. Yeah. You know, I'm fresh motherfucker. Niggas so telling like, you got to leave and shit. Yeah. <laughs> damn. So God damn it. So I'm like. Fuck. So I just, and I called them. They weren't budging. They're like, you got to come up here, get you a card that says we okayed you because you going past your time, really, because I got to go two days. At yeah. least give me some time so it'd be right on the day. Get you a card that said it was okay that we okayed you and you must leave. And you come back when your visa's done or when your next 90 days start, which was like th- uh, two more months after. Oh, so shit. I had to go back for at least two months and then come back. Yeah. But so once I, I got my ticket, I'm like, damn, these motherfuckers ain't playing. Dude wow. was straight. Come get it now or else. Or I'm like, man, I'm trying to talk to you. Like, hey, we can send the police to come get you. Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. How you want to do it, <laughs> boy? <laughs> do you want the cops to come get your black ass in Switzerland? <laughs> so I'm like, uh, yeah, hey. you don't want that deportation on your record. Right. So yeah. So I said, hey, <laughs> I'm with it. I'm out. <laughs> Got my ticket. I packed my suitcase as much as I can. I probably left about $10,000 worth of clothes. And Yo. I had Versace covers and shit. Left all that, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just left, came back. But once I, I came I back. The bitches too. <laughs> oh, bad bitches. Bad yeah, bitches I too. had bitches that wanted to marry and all that, but I didn't want to go that far. Yeah. I could have did it. Yo, but, um, that's fucking funny. But I came bro. back, bro, and I, and I came back and I realized <laughs> I, I had unfinished business. I was about to tap out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was about to tap out, just be a regular civilian, yeah. just could get money and do like real business shit. Yeah. But keep it 100% real. I just know I got a voice that needs to be heard. So yeah. I want to go more into like the podcast and interview and talking. Yeah. yeah. That's what drives me because mm-hmm. I got good stories, but I, I got real life that and real game I could give my people. Of course. So like I, I lived a lot, done a lot. Now it's time for me to give back. And I want a voice. So when I came here, I'm like, I'm getting my peace of mind. You know, downgrade the the super boisterous character, the the beard and all that shit, all the crazy cars, and just really just talk to the people and um and and monetize in a different way. Like got quiet businesses and different shit, game shows and shit. I got yeah. like do different things. So it ain't all in people's faces. I ain't trying to shit on nobody. I want everybody to have some X lights with me.